everyone. San Monan Nonge. Welcome to Kids Life. Senamugela with Kids Life. Do you know the story of Mika Schmunk? Rabanyasa Zini is Doriska Mika Schmunk. I'm sure by now many of you have heard his story. Guinness Prince of Sobuti Abaning Benus of a sweet little story. And do you know the most special thing about his life was that he was a missionary. When he was your age. Have you ever thought of becoming a missionary too? Usually we think of missionaries as people who go far over the oceans to another country to preach the gospel there. Well, last year, Mrs. Jager and myself did go to another country. We had a wonderful opportunity to go to Mozambique for a youth conference. It was almost like the conference we have here in South Africa. And this was special because many people heard about the gospel. Mrs. Jager, wouldn't you like to tell us what we experienced there? Gladly, Rena. Mrs. Jager, Children, we had a very special trip to Mozambique. And if you don't know where Mozambique is, there's a lovely map right here behind us. And you can see Mozambique is a long country on the coast on this side of Africa. And children, when I went, and it might have been the same for Rina, we were surprised how poor the people were. There are many, many people who have very little food and very few clothes, clothes to wear. But like Rina said, we went to take them the gospel. So what we did is we went with a team and in the mornings we'd wake up bright and early and we'd start cooking food. Food for the people who were coming to the services. And you'll see on the photos the pots which we used over fires. And then they would call all the children together from the area where we were. And they sat the children on the lawn underneath a big tree. And we sang together. And someone brought God's word. And people shared their testimonies. And then we'd sing again. It took many people. It was a real team effort. There were those who did the driving, those who did the cooking, those who prepared food, and we all helped each other. But it was very special to see how many children came to hear God's word. And maybe Rena will tell you a bit more about those children. The children there in Mozambique's lives are a bit different to our lives. Especially in the rural areas, there are not many vehicles. You have to walk very far if you want to get anywhere. 
Okufana luku to hambi bange litu ma ufusu kuya kwenye ndao. Or you, if you can, you can ride a bicycle. Kota ke ifu... Kota ke uma ukwazi, unga kwazi ukuthi ukibele nomi paisegili. And the day is very hot. E mini ke kuya shisa kakulu. And at night, it was quite surprising, it was freezing cold. Kota ke ifu kwa kubanda ka. You also have to be very careful and on the lookout for scorpions and mosquitoes that might have malaria. And the, the ground is very sandy, almost like the beach. And they're big coconut trees with lots of coconuts. And you know what amazed me so much was at night I looked up at the sky and I saw the stars and they were so bright because yes because in the rural areas there's hardly any electricity. So the stars shine even brighter. And then let's hear from Auntie Mim again a bit more. We also, what we found very nice was the way the people there dressed. Especially the women and the young ladies. Now they wore something called kapalanas. And you can see those hanging up on the wall behind us here. And they're bright and colourful and the ladies take them and they'll wrap them around themselves. So every, all of the ladies are walking around with very bright colours. It makes it a very cheerful place. And but I thought maybe we could speak to someone who lives in Mozambique even today. Hello Zara, would you like to greet those who are listening in today and tell us who you are? Sabona Zara, we are Tana Nugutu Kulume, Nala Babala and Amsanjo Pindus Jello for Tugutu Ban. Hello, everyone. My name is Zara and I live in Mozambique. Thank you, Zara. Can you please tell us how long you have been in Mozambique and what you, what you do there? What, what brought you to Mozambique? Sabona Zara, Ungawaz and Ugutu Strober Luguti. I've been in Mozambique for three and a half years and, and I came with my family. We came because God called us there. Sarah, we know that your parents are missionaries. What do you say a missionary is? Zara says that they are missionaries and they say that they are missionaries. Missionaries do what God wants them to do and they preach the gospel and help people. That's really amazing, Sarah. And can you also tell us how, what are some ways that you feel that God is near you when you are a missionary in Mozambique? Please tell us how God helps you as you serve people there. Many people here get malaria off and, and, and we've been here for three and a half years and God has protected us so far. And I can give another example like with medicine. We've sometimes really run out and then we need it and then and then another hospital had him then when, when they run out we had more medicine to give them. It is wonderful to hear how God provides for Zara and her family 
and he even helps, helps them get the mal malaria medication with, as we just heard. Koye smanga ugozu guti unkulu unkulu ubasa za ganjani uzara na baza albake futi koye smanga uguzwa uguti bai tola ganjani imisha nguzo yoglapa i malaria. And one more question Zara before you go. Umbozo wakti na Zara nga pamo gutu hambe. Would you like to be a missionary one day and can you tell us why? Ngabe wenu ya fisa ino gutu bo missionary ngolunyo sugu futi usche luguti yindaba. Yes. Because every Christian should be a missionary. Isn't that wonderful what Zara said? She wants to be a missionary because every Christian should be a missionary. Aksona inesmanga loko katok show Zara manj. Uti na wea tano gutabe o missionary ngoba wongo muto om kristu kufane labo missionary. That is the most important thing for us to do when we go to other countries. And that's what we did when we went to Mozambique. We wanted to pass on the gospel. There's a wonderful verse in Romans that ties in so nicely with this. It comes from Romans chapter 10, verse 13 to 15. It says, Anyone who calls upon the name of the Lord will be saved. But how shall they ask him to save them unless they believe in him? And how can they believe in him if they have never heard about him? And how can they hear about him unless someone tells them? And how will anyone go and tell them unless someone sends them? And then it goes on to say how welcome are the feet of those who bring good news. That's exactly what we wanted to do when we went to Mozambique. Is to bring the good news of our Lord Jesus Christ to the people there. That brings us to the question, don't you also want to become a missionary? You don't have to wait till you are grown up or till you have a passport and you can go travelling. You can be one right now. And one of the biggest secrets of being a missionary is being able to serve. Like we heard from Mrs. Jager, how everyone lent a hand to help do the work. Then you will be quick to help at home to wash the dishes, to clean the mess. And in this way, you'll be like the verse we read in Philippians 2.15. Chapter 2.15. Which is, you will shine among them like stars in the sky. You'll be like those bright stars we saw in Mozambique. Because your family will see that you want to serve the Lord Jesus. And so the next time you're at home and you want to become angry or upset because you have to do the dishes, 
Some of Fanelowenze is each a good manje we act as suga. You must remind yourself and say, But I want to be a missionary. Fanelos Kumbuzo Guti, God Damina, give one of a missionary. So I need to be one right now here where I am. Gakoga, getting a good and give a yellow missionary corner, manje lange corner. There's a short story I'd like to tell you about a little girl. There was a little girl who became a Christian. She gave her heart and her life to the Lord Jesus. But her father wasn't a Christian. And this little girl had such a longing that her dad would also come to know the Lord Jesus as his Savior. So she begged him that he'd go with her to church. But her father refused. And eventually, he said, okay, I'll go with you just once, just to please you. And the girl was very pleased. So as they got to the door of the church, the father was about to go in. He felt a bit of a push. And when he looked around, he saw it was his daughter. And then he heard her say to the Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, here's my father. You have to save him now. And the Lord answered that little girl's prayer. Because she also gave her heart to the Lord. He gave his heart to the Lord Jesus. That's a lovely little story, Rena. And children, yes, you can be a missionary wherever you are. Tell others about what Jesus has done for you. Be kind, be patient. Be loving and be helpful. And you'll be a missionary right where you are. And you know, if we're faithful in the little things, who knows? God might lead you to another country one day. It might be Mozambique, it might be Malawi, it might be Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe. There are many, many people over the, all over the world who haven't heard about the Lord Jesus. And we want to share that good news. I want Mrs. Jago, wouldn't you like to pray for us before we close? Gladly. Let's close our eyes and pray. Well, as tenders. Lord Jesus, thank you that you call us there where we are. The children that are listening might be in Germany, they might be in Virginia, they might be in Switzerland, they might be here in South Africa. The Lord Jesus, you have a plan for each one listening today. Help them to be a good missionary there where they are. And Lord, we also pray for the missionaries that have gone out and are preaching your word. Be with them and may there be much fruit so that many people would be drawn to you. 
ukuza abantu abaningi bangadonseleka kuwena. We pray this in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Sithandaza lokho egameni la Jesu Kristu. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much Mrs. Jacob. Oh, it's a pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.